Well, hey, 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 good morning. It is Brent Abel here, webtennis.com. What is going on out there today? Hope you're having a spectacular day so far, wherever you are. Looks like, uh, oh boy, oh boy, uh, a, a real butte on tap for us here today in the California desert, specifically Rancho Mirage. Um, the Kate Gamp, not the Kate Gampert, the Kate Gompert Rancho Mirage. Um, uh, yeah, um, interviewed her a few months ago with uh, a couple of the other gals uh, and uh, great gal. Anyway, listen, guys, I've got something for you today. Uh, we're going to talk about doubles and more specifically about how to move without the tennis ball. Um, fake poaching, right? And if you're just going to be in static and stationary as your partner's working his or her butt off over there, then, um, hey, man, you know, we got we got to we got to get you active up there. Um, looks like my. It uh, looks like my internet connection is woefully slow. So apologies for that. Anyway, guys, um, before we get into today's topic about doubles and how to move without the ball, uh, number one, top spin serve. I got a free course for you, right? If your top spin serve is not behaving the way you want, maybe just too many double faults or that second serve is just sitting up and letting that returner singles and or doubles just take advantage and unload to take control of the point at the very start, then I want to help you get some more racket speed, get some more power, and then get the right kind of spin to control that power so that you get a nice uh, margin of safety over the top of the net, number one. But number two, bring it back down and get a nice bounce, right? Just get a nice high bounce, maybe even a little kicker, right, out of that service box over there. You can get that course. Just go over to webtennis.com and drop in a first name and email ad, uh, address, and you will get access to the course. Um, as you can see here on my banner, fitness is like my number one thing, right? I mean, that that is a foundation um, that we can all control. It's it's a controllable. Other things are not controllables. I mean, some, some yes, but but uh, uh, fitness is definitely something that you gotta you gotta embrace. If you really are here to become a better player, no matter what it is, right? No matter what we're talking about, fitness has got to be a foundation. So, look, if you want some ideas, I'm happy to tell you what I do with my diet and what I'm taking to supplement that diet. Uh, just go ahead and shoot me an email, brent at webtennis.com, and I'll be happy to get back to you and let you know what's going on. Um, guys, look, if you're over at YouTube and, and you're into either what technique or tactics, strategy, could be mental, could be physical, um, hit the subscribe button over there, right? So that you get notified every time I upload something new or uh, something like this, a, you know, a live video. And then, and then if you're really into doubles, right? If you're, if you love doubles and especially what we're going to talk about today, right? How to move without the ball, fake poaching, um, then go ahead and hit that like button, whether you're over at uh, Facebook or or YouTube, I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. All right, guys, so let's take a peek at, at our topic today. And let me see if I've got this right. And there we go. Good. So far, so good. How about that? Um, we're going to focus today on Keith Porter. Um, yours truly with the return to serve. This is Keith Porter, my partner in this played an exhibition match a couple years ago uh, over at Deep Canyon Racket Club here in the desert. Uh and let's see, Paul Wolf serving. I believe that's Al Folster, his his partner. But we're gonna we're gonna focus on Keith Porter from Canada and a two time world doubles champion. That's right. The guy knows a little bit about how to play doubles. And specifically in this point, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna play this thing through real time once. But I want you to keep watching him the entire point, right? And just. Okay, so short point, right? Very short point. But what I want you to understand is that this is not a static position, especially when your partner's returning serve. Look, we talk a lot about when your partner's serving about the importance of, of either poaching or fake poaching or a little, you know, shoulder kind of shake and bake. But the same thing applies here to the returner's partner as well. And look, what is the, what's the, primary purpose of movement up there. Well, the primary purpose is to get your feet going so that if the ball does, if this shot comes back, maybe unintentionally, 
but close enough to you, right, where it's back in the middle. If you're just standing here, if you're just kind of standing here waiting to see what happens, your feet are dead, you're kind of rooted, and you're not going to be able to take advantage of that, right? So the primary person, purpose, number one, get your feet moving, right? Number two is to create a visual distraction for the player in front of you, right? In this case, for the server, Make that server think, well, maybe he's going to poach. Maybe he's not. I don't know what he's going to do. But in, in, in any case, you might, with that little movement right there, you might slow this player's stroke technique down and make that shot easier for your partner, right? Um, so the feet are moving, little visual distraction. And, and now what happens is, all right, ball goes back to your partner. What do you do? Now you, now you keep moving, you keep moving, right? There is no time when it, other than right in here where maybe you're not sure where it's going to go and you got to get ready. But I want you to understand that this position right here is not static. And I just see too many players um, start the point here on the service line and stay there. And the more you stay there, uh, Obviously, you don't feel like you're part of it. Obviously, you don't feel like you're contributing to the team. But geometrically, if you stay here in the point, this middle becomes more open. It becomes a bigger target, right? So if you go ahead and actually close a little bit, now the middle becomes a smaller target, right? So there we go. So look, a short message today, guys, and, and that is um, that is you got to move. You cannot stand there. You cannot be static. And look, we can get into the whole thing. Well, do you look back at your, at your partner? Sometimes you do. Sometimes you don't. And I think in this point, it illustrated that. On the return, uh, Keith takes a peek back at me, see what kind of shot I'm going to play to help him know when he should move when he should get off that service line, when he should start faking and all that, right? But the second point, it looks like, I mean, the second shot, it looks like he ends up, he ends up uh, looking at the uh, service partner just to kind of get a, you know, an idea of what's happening there. So look, that's off, that's off topic for today. I want you to make sure that if you do not have the ball, meaning uh, the ball's not coming to you, that you are not static, you're moving. It's a, what do they say? It's a fluid situation. God, I can't stand that term. Anyway, that's what it is. It's 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 all about movement up there. So, guys, look, I want to hear what's uh, here. I want to read what's on your mind and respond to you uh, about this topic today. Any questions? Any comments? Um, any remarks? Just let me know in the comments area down below. Uh, be sure to if if you want to you know work on your top spin second serve. Be sure to pick up that course. It's free. Uh, a no charge course over at webtennis.com. And then if you want to know more about tennis specific fitness, which could be quickness, which could be endurance, which could be really improving that skill of visually tracking a moving tennis ball. I've got some ideas for you. Uh, just shoot me an email, Brent at webtennis.com. And um, I will share those ideas with you guys. With that said, it's time, man, you got to get out there today, help someone else have a spectacular day. Guys, I will see you again tomorrow.